Hi, day 10. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> day 10. <laughs> still here, still managing to do my vlog. And I'm H-A-P-P-Y today. The missing post has come. Anyway, before I show you what's there, just show you where I'm up to. I'm on to the last bits of the jacket done in marble. Oh, sat on half of it, doesn't help, does it? I've got to do all the bands yet, but it's stitched together, yay! And I've got to do the bottom edging. Uh, that's the edging it's going to have on it. So I've done one sleeve. <laughs> so the rest of it's got to get done. Anyway, after innumerable sort of emails to Aishan saying, where's my packet, where's my packet, where's my packet? Two have arrived. First packet, see I've only opened them, I haven't gone into them yet. This one I think is different colours that I ordered. But what does it say? Sale plain light pink. And I've done the same thing as usual. My glasses are over there. Oh, no, they're not. I'm telling lies. My glasses are here, if I can reach them. Come here, glasses. Can't read without glasses. You have to, oh, sorry, keep the tripod. You have to excuse me because they're a bit mucky. It's called Sail Light Pink. And it's, uh, fifth. 50 grams, 200 meters, 100% acrylic, light pink. It's quite a fine, it's not double knit, I don't think. I think it's more of a four ply. Don't know whether it says what needles to use or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't say what needles to use, but I think it's more of a four ply. Oh, and here's my little baby. Here's my little Susie. What are you doing, Susie? He's <laughs> trying his best to come round the front. What are you doing, sweetheart? Me? He's at the back of me at the minute. I don't know if you can see him on it. What do you want, sweetheart? Hmm? What do you want? Do you want to come on me? You're going to get. <laughs> Never mind, let's have a look what we've got in here. Oh! Well, this is the same, but it's black, so I, I don't need to take that out of the package because it's just black. And, oh, sorry, sweetheart. You're not very stable on my knee, darling. Do you want to sit on the cushion next to me? Do you want to sit on the cushion next to me? You're not very stable on my knee. And that's the same yarn again, but in a nice, Cerise pink, I think. Oh, it doesn't say. That actually feels a little bit rough. Hope it softens up. That feels a bit rougher than the pink. Oh, that's sad. That's sad, sad. Of course, Sue isn't here to open them and she'll go crazy. Uh, candy pink. It says, sail, plain, candy pink. It's acrylic, but it just feels a bit rougher than the pink and the black. And I've got one more in this package. And this is again... Oh, he sat down on the cushion now. Colour, fine lilac, orange, green. They're very good with the names, aren't they? Ice. Hmm, sadly, this feels a little rougher too. Sure, it'll be alright when it's been washed and sorted out. Very nice colour. Again, it's fine. Doesn't look quite as fine as the pink, but I think it's going to be a very, very fine double knitting or a, a four ply. So that was parcel. Well, that was parcel number two, actually, because you saw parcel number one the other day. 
parcel number three. I've still got another one. I've ordered it yesterday. Sorry, everybody. This, I absolutely love it. And I'm hoping I've bought two packs of this. It's a beautiful, like a bottle green or a hunter green with colours of Lurex in it. Sort of copper coloured and gold coloured Lurex. I think it's a super chunky, this one. Why do they make it so difficult? Sale Winter, it says. 40% wool, 10% acrylic, 20% polyamide, 10% metallic Lurex. Looks like a super chunky to me, actually, because it's got thick and thin lumps in it. But it looks very chunky. They don't always tell you what needles to use. It's kind of like death when it's in their sale. Let's see what it says on it here. Sale winter green, blue, gold, copper. That's what I said before, isn't it? Doesn't tell you what it is. I think it's a super chunky then. And I'm hoping I've ordered two of those. Oh no, this is absolutely ooh 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 gorgeous. This is uh, a cakes chain. Purple, white, blue, green. As I said to you before, they give some, some wonderful names, don't they? I love those colours. And it's thicker than the other um, cakes that I... Oh, it's very springy. Look at that, very stretchy. I don't know what thickness it's supposed to be on. Let me have a quick look. Five millimetre. Medium, it says four. There's no way that's a four. It's thicker than a four, that. 80% uh, acrylic. Oh, 90% acrylic, I can't read even with my glasses on. And 10% polyamide. I do love those colours though. That's no way that's a number four. No way. That's a bit thick for a number four. Anyway, I have two of those. Oh, that's got to be for me. I've got to keep that, sorry. Certain things I don't mind passing with other things. Sorry for the wrinkle crinkle, by the way. I'm going to be moving next door because I'm running out of room in here. Right, I ordered two packs of this, which is... <laughs> Sail Winter Blue and White. Mm -hmm. This again looks a bit chunky-ish. That's what I like about ice. They don't tell you what the nerve you're buying. But it does look chunkyish. It's a good job I'm good at adapting, isn't it? Ice yarns. Um, let me see what it says. You have to really hunt to find what these are, what they're made out of and things like that. Oh, here we go. Oh. 60% merino wool. That's a change, isn't it? 50 grams, 85 meters, and the rest 40% is acrylic. But again, it doesn't tell you anything to do with hook sizes or needle sizes. Doesn't tell you anything. It's called Guess. But I've got two packs of that. I must have realized that one wouldn't be enough. So that's one, that's two. Oh, I did order another one of the dark green. Thought I would have, because one pack's no use, is it? And that's thickness. What else have I got? Oh, some beautiful green. In fact, it's very much like the other green I bought the other day. But the other green I bought the other day was cotton. And this one is acrylic, I think. Antibacterial Fragrant Light Mint Green. Yes, it's uh, all acrylic. This is what I made. I made um, an orange short sleeved sweater for myself out of it and also a yellow one. It's beautiful. I won't say it's really fragrant. It smells a bit more like washing powder. <laughs> Something like that. I won't say lavatory cleaner. It's fragrant, all right, yeah? So that's what it is. 
So I've got two packages of that. I think you can tell I'm going to be starting summer jumpers, can't you, with my pale greens and pale pinks and things. And what else have I got? Got another one of those greens. Oh, I ordered more bacterial um, in black. That's, that's always very, very useful. I ordered two packs of that. And then the last thing that's in here is, oh, isn't that pretty? Winter green, white, black. It's similar to the blue and white, but I don't know whether this is merino or not. It's a lime green. I've got a thing I've got into lime green. Um, no, it's not. This is 20% wool. No, 30% wool, is it? 50% acrylic. And some polyamide. It's called green, white, black. Again, it's a chunky. Yeah, I've got a thing about lime green at the moment got a lime green dress from last year that I haven't worn yet. I bought it at the end of the summer. So it was kind of a bit chilly, you know, so... So that's what I've... Yep, so one of my missing packages has arrived. Well, two of them have arrived, my eyes saw that. The tripod still hasn't arrived, I think I told you that, didn't I? I was supposed to go and ask around the neighbours if anybody's taken it in. Which my neighbours are very, very honest people, and they, if they'd have taken it in, they would have given it me by now, because apparently it was posted sometime in March. Or ask at the post office to see if they've got your parcel. Well, no, they won't have had my parcel because they always bring it to me or leave it in my porch. So there's not a point going asking the post office if they got it. So I'm going to write back and say sorry, I've asked everywhere and they don't have it. Yeah. Send me another one, please. It's the one thing I was waiting for more than the wool. I was getting a bit panicky about the wool, actually, well, the yarn. Because, you know, I don't have trouble using it with the ice. It normally comes in a matter of days. But what amazed me is he said this was only posted last Thursday. You know, for ice yarns. Well, I actually ordered it on the 25th of March and the 26th. No, on the 24th of March, was it? On the 25th of March is when I actually ordered it. So if they only sent it off last Thursday, this is obviously like a repeat order or something because they must have not... Oh, well, I haven't got the other one. I do like that dark green now with the golden glitter in it. I can't keep keeping everything for myself. Though. I've got to start letting something go <laughs> you don't know how hard it is for me to part with things it is it is really hard but i've got more sweaters and cardigans i can ever ever wear in my lifetime i mean they are ancient i mean this one i made it a while ago as you can see it's sort of very small uh this is from the um Happy Hooker, Stitch and Bitch book. And it's in the book. You have to buy the book, unfortunately, to get this one. And uh, I've made this one so many times, this is a wonder I can't make it in my sleep. But I have actually only got one. I could have sworn I'd made myself a black one, but I've never been able to find it, so I must have made it in my dreams. But... I opened up my parcels from the postman today, and I nearly opened one, but it's not for me. So I'm going to have to go up the road and put it through their letterbox. I'm number 28, and they've gave me number 25. Luckily, I looked at it before I ripped it open. Otherwise, it's a bit hard to explain why you've opened someone else's parcel, isn't it? Cheers. Water again. It's not gin. Just in case you think I'm a secret drinker, <laughs> I'm not, but my mouth has been very, very dry recently. I think it's all the medications I take. So I always have to have water by the side of me. Coffee doesn't work, sort of thing. I love my coffee and I'll still have about three or four coffees a day. But after a while when I've drunk it, my mouth goes dry again. So water is the only thing I have to keep sipping. 
So I've got to finish off my um, sewing up the cardigan. It's not for me. It's a Lexi one. And then decide what I'm going to do next. I must scroll through everything and see if I can find a lady who wants the, the um, virus show. I know she said, ask me and give me your email address. And, oh, I've been shocking lately, as you know, I've not been replying to my um, comments because I've just been... I won't say so busy crocheting, I'm just trying to get myself in a routine, you know, where I can, um, you know, do some washing up, do some of this, do some of that. Tomorrow I've got to go to the GP to see about my blood pressure because it was high last time. So I'm hoping it's not high again. Oh, GG is now gone to sleep. <laughs> I have a bit of white coat syndrome though. The minute I see a white coat, I go, <laughs> my blood pressure goes about three notches higher up. Um, when I'm in hospital, somehow or another, it doesn't work that way. You think if you get white coat syndrome, it would work when you're in hospital, but it doesn't. My blood pressure is always beautifully level when I'm in hospital. I'm one of these people who relaxes. You know, some people get stressed out when they have to go to hospital. I'm the opposite. I'm more um, resigned when I go to hospital. I just relax and feel like I'm in good hands. Everything's going to be fine. I mean, when you consider my background, the things that have gone wrong, you think it would be the opposite. You think I'd be going, oh no, I've got to go to hospital again. But surprisingly, no, I just sort of, I'm so relaxed when I'm in hospital. So when they take my blood pressure, it's beautifully normal, you know. When I have to go up to the clinic up the road, I'm sort of like zzzz before I get there. <laughs> Maybe it's my scooter that shakes my blood pressure up. <laughs> yes, I've got to go up. Well, I've got to post off. I've uh, sold a couple of things off my Etsy store. Thank you all. And um, I was going to go up today, but I've got to go out tomorrow to get my blood pressure done. So I'll post them off tomorrow while I'm already out. I'll go to uh, the post office then. Kill two birds with one stone. Still not heard about my new scooter yet. That's another on my to-do list. Um, I've wrote a to-do list. I've ordered two more clipboards as well. So I can have a clipboard for food, you know, to keep in the kitchen with a pen. That uh, I write down what I've run out of. So, you know, because I told you before, bubble brain, you know. No clue. And then I've got one where I'm going to clipboard all my letters for hospital appointments and that. I'm going to clipboard all of those in order of where I've got to go and when. Because at the moment they're scattered around and I've got this thing, you know, do I have to go somewhere tomorrow? Is it ringing a bell? I mean, fortunately, like, my blood pressure one, they sent me a memo or a text memo that said, uh, you know, don't forget you've got an appointment with Jenny. Mm -hmm. Not you, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny at the, the clinic. So that was good, so that reminded me. So today I've got to parcel up the cardigan and the baby things that I've got to post off tomorrow. Um, I need to find an envelope as well. I keep throwing these big envelopes away when things come in them. And then I want them. So I can send the amigurumi down to book that I, or a magazine that I got, that I know I won't use. I'll send it down to Karen, and uh, hope she's feeling better. She's got a very sore throat, apparently, and she's been in bed. So that's casualistic, Karen. Everybody I know has been ill. You know, people are putting on their, um, their Vaders or their YouTubes, you know, that they've got coughs, colds, they're not well, and things like that. When I'm sitting down, I'm 100%, well, you know, for me, 100%. It's so when I get up and start to do the hoover that, you know, the back goes, ah, ha, ha. It's good that my ex-husband's not here, he's saying, well, it's using it as an excuse. Trust me, I'm not, because there's only me to excuse myself to. So it's not as if I say I can't do it, somebody else will say, oh, I'll do it for you. It's not like that, is it? When you live on your own, 
<laughs> you can't pretend to be poorly because you're either poorly or you're not. Uh, but hoovering is my bugbear. Especially the stairs. When I'm rich, one day, when I'm rich. Yeah, yeah Lisa Yarnibug Lady. Oh, no, that's not right, is it? Lisa Yarnibug. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. She was saying, what would you do on her Vader? She was saying, or Vida, whatever. She was saying, what would you do if you had, like, you won the lottery and you had millions of pounds? And she was saying what she would do. Now it's always been a thing, me and my elder niece, since she was a teenager, go on a cruise. If we ever won money, we would go on a cruise. So she said that to me, like yesterday, day before, she said, will you win that lottery? Because I still want to go on that cruise. <laughs> That's what I would do. First I'd have to renew my passport, of course, because I've let it lapse. Which is a bit awkward because I've got no form of ID at the moment because my bus pass is run out. <laughs> That's another thing I've forgotten to renew. I haven't got a driver's license, so I'm, I'm ID less at the moment. So I need to do something. I need to renew my bus pass even though I don't use it. I might do one day, if you know what I mean. Always handy to have it. And, um, yeah. The rest of the money, I don't know. Maybe I would fly to America and do a whistle stop tour. But as I'm not very good at flying, I don't think that's going to happen. i probably just keep on cruising. <laughs> Pick a cruise that goes anywhere near where you live and say, if you want to meet me on the cruise, meet me. Oh, dear. Oh, don't know them. Two more people walking down. I've got a lot of Polish people who've moved into the... I don't know whether they're maisonettes or what they are. I call them maisonettes because they're just like too high. But they're separate, so I suppose they are flats, aren't they, apartments? But they're not like multi-stories or anything. They're just four in a block. But they're tiny. So people don't stay in them. Especially if they get a family or something like that. My friend used to live in one with her little boy, and they are tiny. Yeah. My younger niece is away at the moment in Broadchurch. Not quite sure where Broadchurch is, but... So totally ignorant about geography, you know. But she said she's having nice weather. The weather here has been really nice for the last week just gone. Today it's... Um, how can I put it? It's sort of trying to be sunny. It's not raining. My tree is out in blossom. I must try and take a photograph of it for Sean. I don't know whether you can... Oh, sorry about this. It's this bloody tripod. Can you see my tree? It's an Amagawa cherry tree. Cherry blossom tree. So pretty. Yep. Ooh. I haven't made you dizzy. And this tripod's gone on the blink again. No, I don't know who they are. My flowers are still blooming. But I got, they're now mixed up with some daffodils. Ooh, don't look at all the mess I've got. Can you see them? They're all mixed up with some daffodils. On the floor is Gigi's blanket and um, his toys. Because he's refusing to play with it at the moment. Because he's in one of those moods. That's my super small TV. <laughs> my son said it looks like a portable. <laughs> but, on we go again. Did you enjoy your trip? Right, well, I'm going to finish off um, the edging on that card again. Find, it has one button. Find one button. Yes, I'm wearing my beautiful necklace again that I love, love, love. Someone asked me, said it looks like one of Joan Rivers, but I don't think it was, although it's extremely well made. There's no um, name on it, you know, like anywhere on the clasp or anything, which I would imagine that there would be if it was a real Joan Rivers. But I can't. It's one of my favourites, because I don't understand how anybody parted with it. I think it's so lovely. 
I really must make this again in a ah, bigger size. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I think that's all. At least I've got something to tell you today. Yesterday I was struggling a bit. But you never know. Tomorrow my other eye order might arrive. I don't think so. Um, and I did order a couple of things from Kemp's, but they won't arrive. Kemp's never brings anything too soon for me. They're always about four or five days before I get anything from them. So, I don't know. I'm going to start off a summer sweater. I might do the one from, um, what's she called? Jay's Knit and Pearl Jam. She's done a crochet um, sweater on one of her later videos. It's not the latest video. It's one of the later ones, yeah. But fully enough, I had a yen to do some knitting the other day. Probably a bad idea though, because it only sets my shoulder off, but I just had this urge, you know, you get this urge to do something different. And I thought, I really fancy doing some knitting. As I say, won't well, last. <laughs> I might knit the super chunky though. Yeah. But I've put that pattern down. You know the pattern I bought the other week that was just an edge to edge jacket? It's in that safe place. I managed to pick all the magazines up off the floor and put them in the purple plastic storage thing. They're not staying there, it's just to make it look a bit tidier in there. Get them up off the floor. It looks so untidy when you've got magazines strewn about, doesn't it? So I must actually finish off in there and then I can start dusting and cleaning and hoovering in here. I'm deliberately only doing it a little bit at a time so I don't overface myself. It will get done eventually and there's only me to bother. Right, I don't know how long I've been talking. Not long, I don't think. Probably about a half hour or something like that. But, yeah, I think it's about half hour I've been talking. I did set my timer just in case I got to 45 minutes. But I'm hoping I don't because I haven't charged the battery up in the camera between making the last video and making this video. Yes, yeah, so maybe tomorrow I'll also show you if I've put my patio umbrella up together or if I've put my patio furniture in the right covers. I mean, my son's parceled them all up beautifully, but it means that if I want to get them out, it's too much of an effort, you know, to wrap them all up again. So I've got these zip covers, so hopefully they'll just zip over the sofa, you know. If I just get the sofa out and zip over that, then at least I can sit on the sofa, can't I? And if Sue comes, we can both, I think, just about fit on the sofa together. <laughs> Although she's a lot slimmer than me. I might be taking three quarters of it and she'll be perched on the other quarter. <laughs> she keeps telling me she's putting on weight, but she isn't as far as I'm concerned. She's quite slim compared to me. <laughs> right, I want to go now and finish off this top for my crocheting with my marble. No, it's not marble, is it? Maple. Did I say marble before? It's because I was just watching uh, Blue Cherub 82 and she got this lovely colour of purple in uh, Marble Chunky. From Purple Linda, I think she got it from. Or did she? No, did she? Oh, I'm getting everybody mixed up. Just ignore me. She didn't get it from Purple Linda. Just ignore me. Look at her video if you want to know where she got it from. <laughs> Blue Cherub 82. And... Um, everybody seems to be doing okay, I think, apart from coughs, colds, flus. This household is fluless. <laughs> I'm glad to say. Right, I'm definitely going now. I think I've bored you long enough now. Oh, there's that couple of lads going back up there again. Obviously, they were just visiting down the road. So, I want to go. Managed to do day 10. I don't know how I've done it. Still got about another 20 days to go, haven't I? Oh my giddy out. Might have to start reading poetry or singing your song <laughs> when I run out of things to say. Anyway, bye for now. Have a nice day. Bye now. Bye y'all.